In the previous video, I sanded the surfboard and a lot of fiberglass dust got up into the air and it got on me. And one thing it does is it makes you itch. So I gotta change my shirt real quick. Okay, that's much better. Welcome back guys. In the last video, I glassed the chambered wooden surfboard. In this video, I'm going to apply the hot coat to the board. So what exactly is hot coating? Some of you might be asking. Well, it's the process where we apply a coat of epoxy resin, in my case, to the surfboard to make it nice and smooth. Right now, the surfboard is bumpy because we can see the weave of the fiberglass. We're gonna seal up the fiberglass and all those bumps will disappear after the hot coating. I'm gonna use epoxy, but the steps are similar for, if not the same, when using polyester resin as well. So I'll go over the, the rough steps real quick. First step is we're gonna tape off the board, then apply hot coat to the deck, let the epoxy set, pull the tape off, flip the board, then we apply tape to the opposite side, just below the other tape line, hot coat the bottom, let the epoxy set, remove the tape, and then sand the seam smooth left by the tape. Uh, also at the rear of the board, we're gonna to have to create a bit of a dam in order to build up the rear part of the board so we can make a nice sharp edge back there, whereas the rest of the rail um, is nice and smooth. Okay, some tips for hot coating. Make sure to hot coat in a place that has no drafts and try to vacuum up as much dust as possible. Um, in Like in my case, in the shop, on the floor, I'm gonna clean up all the dust. This will help minimize any dust ending up in the final finish. And lastly, like I mentioned before, always have gloved hands when touching the surfboard, anytime you're flipping the board, touching it, to prevent any oils from getting on the surface of the surfboard. All right, let's get to it. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, this board is coming out awesome. I am super stoked at how well this is coming out and I can't wait when it's done to get it into the water. But it's looking really nice. Even with just a layer of fiberglass on it, the board's really starting to pop. Just going to take a little acetone, methyl hydrate, or denatured alcohol, and I'm going to just wipe down the edge of the board where I did the sanding just to remove any of the loose dust if there is any left, if the vacuum didn't pick it up. And then next, we're going to tape up the board. I'm going to tape around the midpoint of the rail. Use good quality masking tape, as I mentioned in my other videos. Don't cheap out and buy the uh, cheap stuff. I'm just using the thin stuff now, and then I'm going to put a, a piece of the thicker stuff down. I just find the thinner stuff is easier to go around the rail because of the curve. So what I'm gonna do back here, 18 inches up from the tail, this is where I want this to be a sharp edge. So right here I've stopped and I'm gonna let the epoxy flow down over. But what I might do, your mileage may vary, but I'm gonna put a little piece of tape on underneath here so that way the epoxy collects a little bit. And that way It'll build up here a little bit and then I'll sand that so we get a nice edge. And then when we do the bottom as well.
so right around the halfway mark, all the way around the board. All right, it's time to gather some materials. Got my epoxy, got my mixing container, stir stick, and I need a brush. This is the type of brush that I like using for doing a hot coat, gloss coat. It's a chip brush, real cheap. You can pick these up at the paint store. You can buy them by the box. But before we get started, I'm gonna take some tape and I'm just gonna jab the brush like that to remove any loose hairs. because so we don't want any of these hairs mixing in with our hot coat. Do that a couple times and that should ensure a bristle free finish. If you've watched my lamination video, I explain how much, uh, what's the mixing ratio for the epoxy. Um, now, from past experience checking in my journal, from all the other boards I've built, I'm gonna go probably with 150 grams of epoxy resin. So I'm gonna measure that out now. And again, make sure this is at almost room temperature if possible, so it flows nice. And then for the hardener, I'm gonna mix 70 grams because 150 grams multiplied by our ratio 0.446 gives us 70 grams and the ratio is you're supposed to mix it 100 grams of resin to 45 grams of hardener so working out the formula as i mentioned in the other video just multiply your resin amount by 0.446 or there are guides out there on how much resin to mix. Now this is specifically for resin research uh, resin. Other resins will uh, might have different mixing ratios. Gotta make sure to add some additive F. This stuff here, I have this in a old bottle. It used to be in a plastic bottle, but I have it in a glass bottle now. I make sure to keep this nice and warm when I need to work with it because there's like wax in with this. And what this additive will do is when mixed with the epoxy resin, it helps the flow, it helps prevent fish eyes. This is a game changer. This stuff is awesome for making surfboards with epoxy. So really important. Um, yeah, I have really good luck using this with uh, the resin research epoxy. So I'm just gonna pour, throw just a couple cc's in. I don't ever measure it. I just kind of dump some in and then kind of go with it. And as I mentioned, this stuff has wax in with it. So you gotta make sure to keep this at room temperature or else it'll like, uh, it'll get all cloudy and it'll actually become solid. So super important. Gotta work with everything at room temperature. And now it's gonna start getting stinky now that I've made the, put in the additive F. I wanna make sure to put on my respirator because uh, that stuff's stinky and so is the hardener. And like before, when mixing, try not to whip air into it. We're not frothing this. Make sure, scrape the sides. Especially now that we're doing the hot coat, it's essential to do a good job mixing it. Don't whip air bubbles into it or else we'll have air bubbles in the final finish.
All right, now that it's done, leave it. Don't mess with it anymore because if you mess with it anymore, you're just gonna create headaches for yourself. It's looking pretty good. Okay, we'll come back and check it in three to four hours to pull the tape. Five hours later and the epoxy's tacked up real nice. It's not fully hard or cured so now I'm going to pull the tape. It just makes it a lot easier if you don't let it fully get hard. Okay, the tape's been pulled. Now I'm gonna let this harden up, flip it, and then tape around, and then do the hot coat on the bottom. Now I'm just gonna knock this edge down before I retape to do the other side of the board with the hot coat on the bottom. Take this just below where the other tape line was. So that way you got just a, like a millimeter of overlap. And then we'll sand that off once the other hot coat's done. So now back here, I'm gonna take my tape and I'm gonna make a dam all the way around the rear of the board. And that'll allow me, once the epoxy set, to give me enough of an area to sand this into a nice hard edge. Nice 90 degrees.
done. been another four to five hours. I'm just going to pull the tape. The epoxy is still a little tacky so it makes it really easy to do this right now. shiny and smooth. Now this board is really starting to pop. I really love the contrast now that we have this epoxied or hot coated that the stringers and the other wood it, there's just a beautiful contrast. It just pops. I love it. So where are we at now? Well the hot coat is done. The next video is going to be installing the leash plug and the vent plug. So we got to vent the board. Super important because this board is hollow and air will expand and you know if there's no place for that air to go that's a bad thing and then in a subsequent video we're going to do sanding do a final sand on this now uh, I'm touching this board with my bare hands now because I will be sanding this and I want to be wiping it down so I'm not too worried about oils getting on this board now now that I have the lamination and the hot coating done the rails, the tape line, everything came out great. Keeping my hands gloved and not touching the board with my bare hands certainly reduced or eliminated all fish eyes. There's no fish eyes on this board at all. It looks great. The hot coat is just uh, really, 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 really nice. So uh, had great results with that. So I'm going to switch the stands and then I think I'm going to call this video done. So consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you found it helpful, I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.